Hey everybody, it's Rick, and uh, welcome to my bedroom. And today we're gonna go ahead and practice laying out parts and components inside of Fusion so we can get them set up and ready to go for uh, going into our CAM workspace and designing our tool paths and then running it on the ShopBot. So the first step is laying it out. So let's get to it. All right, what I have here is a simple stool that I drew. It's only three components, a stool seat and two stool legs. Pretty straightforward, they just lock and slip in place here. And what we're gonna do today is learn how to align, using the align tool, the bodies and components in your project so that they occupy the same space and are laid out and nested in within a sheet of plywood so that we can cut them on our shop bot. We're gonna use how to, use how to use the align tool as well as the move and copy tool. We'll also briefly talk about grounding within components. And then what we'll do is we'll also talk about how to draw out a sheet of plywood so that we can make sure everything fits within our stock material. So let's start with that first. We can start with just a simple sketch. That's what we're gonna do here to draw our plywood. So I'm gonna click this sketch icon, create sketch, and I'm gonna choose the top plane or top face of this stool seat as our sketch plane. Very good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle in the shape of our plywood. So that's pretty straightforward. We can choose the two point rectangle button here, or we can click create rectangle, two point rectangle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move um, down here to the bottom right so that the first start point, um, when I click and drag, will fully encompass the stool seat like so. And it doesn't really matter where I drop this off, I'm just gonna click anywhere for now. What I wanna do now is give the width and length dimensions to this rectangle. Again, that's pretty straightforward. We can just click Create, Sketch Dimension, or press D on our keyboard. And I'm gonna click this dimension first, although it doesn't really matter, and I'm gonna drag down and then click again. And now I can enter 48 as the width of our plywood, because all plywood has four, is 48 inches wide. Let it think for a second. And all plywood is 96 inches long. So I'm gonna choose the perpendicular line here and drag out, click again, and now type 96 and click enter. So now if I zoom out, you can see that this rectangle represents a full size sheet of plywood and our stool seat is within the bounds of this plywood. The next thing that we should do is align the edges of our plywood to the circle here or to the out, uh, directly onto the part that we are arranging on. So for a circle, I mean, it'll be different for your project, but for a circle, I'm gonna use the tangent constraint up here. And I want this line to be tangent to this uh, seat, the outside circle. So now they are tangentially connected here. And the same thing with this line and again with this the seat. And so now the stool seat um, lines up perfectly on the edges um, down here in the corner of our plywood. So that, that looks real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Finish Sketch to finish this off so we can move on to the next step here, which is to align the stool legs next to the stool seat and within our plywood sketch. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna use our align tool. And that's up here in our toolbar. If you can't see it in the toolbar, then it's gonna be under Modify, Align, a little bit past the center here. And if you want it in your toolbar, you can click these three little dots right here and check pin to toolbar and it'll pop up right here. So let's click align and let's quickly talk about what each of these selectors does. The object selector uh, is asking what do we want to select? So do we want to select a component or a body? Most of the time you want to select components particularly if they have only one body in each component, which my drawing does. So as much as possible, we wanna be manipulating components in Fusion. So I'm gonna keep this um, as components for now. And then the from and to selectors might be fairly straightforward, but I'll explain anyway. 
the from selector is asking which object wants to do the moving. And the to is asking which object does it want to move to. So I'm going to first choose the thing that I want to move, which is the face of this stool uh, leg. And then two is going to be the top face of our bar stool seat. And there you go. They're aligned together. The face of the, of the seat and the face of the leg are perfectly in line, and they're occupying the same space. You can see that there. That's what we want. If, for some reason, it looks more like this, which happens sometimes, um, then you need to just click the flip button to get both of the bodies, both of the components within to occupy the same space. That's what we want. All right, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is arrange the seat or excuse me, arrange the leg so that it is next to the seat and within our plywood confines, because obviously we can't cut the seat and the leg out of the same spot on, on the plywood. It would just, it, would, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to click OK to commit our align changes. And now I'm going to go here to the Move Copy tool, which is up here in your toolbar. If you can't find it, it's under Modify, Move, Copy. Or you can press M on the, on the keyboard to open up Move Copy. And let's look at these selectors. Once again, Move Copy, it's pretty, uh, Move Object, excuse me. Uh, the selector wants to know what are we actually moving? Are we moving components, bodies, faces, or sketch objects? Once again, we want to stick to components for now, so we'll keep components selected. And now Selection wants to know what are we actually moving? And we want to choose this leg, and we want to choose a snap point, which are one of these little white dots that pop up here. And we want to click that. And now what we want to do is click top up here on our view cube. You, can, you need to click whatever face on the view cube is going to look directly down on your object. It may not say top. It might say back or front or side. Um, but for my project, it says top. And now I'm, I can click and drag these arrows to move the object around. There we go. So now it's inside of our plywood confines next to our stool seat. You can also click and drag this rectangle. That's fine. It's just less precise. I don't really recommend it. So for now, let's just use these arrows. And then let's click OK. All right. Moving along. Now what we need to do is go ahead and for precision's sake, I want to align the bottom edge of the uh, leg to the plywood. So that's pretty straightforward. In this case, we'll use the align tool again. So I'll click it. Again, if you can't find it, it's under modify align. And it wants to know, are we moving components? Yes. And sometimes this will happen when you have a sketch on top of a component or body. You won't be able to actually select that component. So let's go over to the left side here and turn off that sketch for now. And let's choose from and choose this edge here. And now two. That's, this is when I have to turn on the sketch again so I can select it. And now I'll select this edge. So now... Our stool seat is perfectly in line with the edge of our plywood, and now so is this the leg. Both components are perfectly aligned to the edge here. And this is really good for uh, nesting optimization to make sure that we aren't wasting material and that we're also really confident about the placement of our bodies in our plywood. If we start introducing uh, errors or if we start to not be confident about the placement of our bodies, we can either damage our material, which is really expensive, or in extreme cases, damage the machine. So we really want to make sure we know exactly where we're placing our, our objects. And now, final step is I'm going to click Capture Position, this checkbox here. What that does is it will create a marker in our timeline to indicate that we've created a final alignment or move command. And that way we can either delete or edit that in the timeline later on in our project if we need to. It's always good practice to select that. All right. Last thing, we need to move our other leg 
and we need to move it in line with the face of the stool seat, and it needs to be next to this other leg. So very similar to the process we just, we just did, we're gonna go ahead and click Align, and we need to choose which face we wanna do the aligning. So you'll notice here that I didn't, I didn't really have any judgment about the align, uh, which face I was gonna align the first leg, and that's because the, they're uh, identical on both sides. That's not the case with this other leg. We have a blank side here, and then we have a side with some text that's engraved in it. And the router is going to um, cut out either a pocket here or engrave the, the letters. So we need to make sure that that side is facing upward so that uh, the router bit can actually reach it. If it's facing downward, then the router bit can't reach those features. So I wanna make sure I choose this top face and choose the top face of our stool seat. And here we go, this is what I was explaining earlier. We've got two faces that are touching each other that are aligned, but they're not occupying the same space. You can see that. So let's click the flip tool. And now they're occupying the same space. So I'll click OK. And now we need to actually move and rotate this thing. So we'll click Move Copy, or again under Modify, Move Copy, or M on the keyboard. And we're going to choose one of these snap points here. And then I'm going to click the top of our view cube. So I'm looking straight down at it. And I'm going to drag the leg over. And I'm gonna click this uh, handle here, the rotation handle, to rotate our object 90 degrees. We can also type 90 in this box here. And then I'm gonna drag down on the arrow and move over to the right so that there's some space in between. And I'll click OK. All right, last thing is we wanna align the bottom edge of this second leg to the edge of our plywood, just like we did on the first leg. So I'm gonna click Align, and you'll notice I can't click the stool leg edge, and that's because the sketch is on. So I'll turn off the sketch for now, zoom in a little bit, and click that edge. And then let's turn the sketch back on, so then I can click to this edge of the plywood. And now we're all perfectly aligned. We're tangentially aligned with the seat, and uh, both bottom edges of the legs are aligned with the edge of our plywood. And I'll finalize this by clicking Capture Position, and then clicking OK. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and click the Home icon up here in my view cube so I can take a better look at it. All right, I feel pretty confident now that all of our bodies are laid out correctly. We'll do one last cursory check of this though by clicking right on the view cube so I can look directly on to our objects and I can see that they are in line. There's no obvious place where one of them might be out of plane. They look pretty good to me. Okay, so that does it for this video. The next video will show you how to set up your cam workspace so that we can design our tool paths and then get this ready to be cut on our ShopBot CNC router. All right, on to the next video. We'll see you there.